Hello, bears. Want some fish? All right, 15 that time. Twenty six percent of bears. This ice. Great. Great, we have sliding mechanics. Always fun. Hello, merchant. Oh, hello there, wolf. I have a feeling I wouldn't get much business in this blizzard. Looks like I was right. Those an M like you wouldn't understand. There's tough trading in the snow, like looking out for monsters. Thing is, I can't just leave. Some people need me. Can you imagine how hard it is? If you have some sympathy at all, you'll buy something. Well, what are you selling? I'll take some meat and some fish. Um, and you're not selling anything else I care about? things deal is. Well, that wasn't great. Got it, though. Unfroze the water. Hey, another stray bead. Speaking of stray beads. Alright, so there's six in this area, and we already have three of them. Alright, and with that we have also made ourselves a warp point. An amber kessel? All right, new type of treasure. <laughs> Walleye's house, no monsters allowed. Huh, does this guy really think the sign's gonna keep monsters out? Well, no, he thinks like several signs are going to do that. Oh, what have I done? This carries on 
from the way it will be ruined. I have to do something to stop them. But I'm no match for those assassin monsters. Oh, what should I do? Hey, hello, Wolfie. What are you doing out in the blizzard? I envy you. You have such an easy, carefree life. But I wouldn't give to be like you. I'm doomed to spend my days here, living in fear of these monsters. What's eating you, young man? You might feel better if you just talk about it. Uh, oh! You have a Punkelia, do you? A white wolf and a Punkelia? That's like the old legend. This must be the will of the gods. They must have told you to come here and help me. Nah, you got it all wrong, young man. I'm not... I find that whole young man thing a little patronizing. Got a proper name, you know? I'm called Walleye. Distressed youngster Walleye. Listen to my tale, messenger of the gods. Started all just over a year ago. I was living in Webkeeper, or Webkeer, the village up in the mountains. It's home to Kon Kotone and the divine sword that protects Komoai. Because the village elder always treats it with such respect, I couldn't find... I couldn't help feeling curious, so one day, I touched it. I only touched it a teeny, tiny little bit, honest. Ever since then, I seem to be cursed with bad luck. My sandals broke, I was rejected by the girl I like. I banged my toe countless times, and an icicle fell on my head. On top of all that, this awful blizzard came along. Now those assassin monsters are out in the wild trying to kill me. I didn't want to cause more trouble, so I came to live here. Whoa! I can't believe you survived this long all by yourself. So, what did those assassin monsters do to you? Well, it's very strange. You see, they always um, staring at me from way off in the distance. Know what they're up to. They're trying to break me emotionally. Then they'll come in for the kill. You just have to help me, Wolfie. You have to get rid of them. See, here's a list with their names. Ah, Walleye's Record of Penance. Okay. Boy, sure a thorough young man. Think the gods place some kind of mark on the assassin monsters. You'll definitely know uh, when you see one. They're very wary, though. They only come out at night. Please get rid of them for me so I can sleep peacefully again. Alright. Okay, so we have another list. All right, got some more sheep here. I don't know what that thing's deal is. Alright, we got another gate here. All right. Nice. Ah, I didn't get too much from that. All right. Bunch of praise, though.
All right. All right. We got a mysterious cave that's not on the map. Tribe of the Moon. After decades of internal debate, I've decided to write about the man who spoke to me regarding the celestial plane's destruction. I shall endeavor to shoulder the heavy burden of that man's fate. My brush shall act as a bridge to the shadowy past. Man had identified himself as a member of the Moon Tribe. The idea of living or the idea of life thriving on that desolate rock is mind boggling. Furthermore, their civilization has surpassed our own. Most of their ranks succumbed to death, but this man had fled. He was silent on the topic of why his civilization was destroyed. What business could the Golden Tribe of the Moon have with us? I gaze into the distance, knowing the answer cannot evade me forever. Exorcism slip L. Alright, so I found a bear way back in this cave. There's another one of these rocks that I can't break. I'm glad the cutscene didn't cut in while I was still in thin air there. Alright, another bear to feed. Got a stray bee. Okay, that's awesome. All right. So what's over this way? Ooh. 
right to the Yosafat straight. All right. All right, found some more bears. Golden Peach. Frozen Penitence appeared. Oh, hello! Hey! That monster's got an exorcism arrow stuck in it, too! Alright. Alright, yeah, fire was the answer. To get demon fangs. Not that I need them. Alright. So that's one of those guys down. Alright. All right. All right, let's see. Mark of protection of the Oniwa tribe here in Kanawa. Let's forget about this place. We have better things to do. Okay, so I currently can't do anything with that. Alright, found some more cranes. Only a few more, though. Amethyst castles. Alright, there's still five, six, seven, eight types. Fifty three per cent of bears, fifty per cent of cranes. All right, I still need to figure out how I'm supposed to be breaking those rocks. Man, the ice makes it tricky.
crystal. Hello. You sneaky little hairs hiding under the bridge. I just happened to see them. 87% of hairs. All right. Nice. Oh, this is, that one had like purple smoke coming out of it. Hey, it's one of these again. I gotcha. All right. Owned. Well, that was easy. Hey! Nailed it. Nice. Alright, what do we get for our trouble? A sun fragment. All right, also nice. Okay, so there are four more um, solar energy containers in the game. We know one of them is from Fragments, which leaves three potentially that I have to buy. A stray bead. Alright, so that's like five of the six from this area. <laughs> I bet the sixth one is under that... Under one of those rocks I can't break. Whip here. Whoa! It's like the whole village has been frozen solid. wonder if anyone's still alive. Oh, Amy. Okay. I was just going to read the sign.
All right. Jade tassels. All right. Found a couple more hairs. Three thirty is the next spot. Nice. Only seven more types of treasure. Alright, I want it to be nighttime because that way the treasures glow. Yeah, nothing behind the waterfall. Got a stray bead. All right. I have a feeling that might be the last one. It's a nice round number. All right. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm gonna need to restock on feed because I'm out of fish. I'm almost out of herbs. Yeah. 
I am out of fish. I found a stray bee. No good. Door won't budge. Alright, so I found a bear. There's just a sun fragment here. Alright, now I'm out of herbs, too. sheep. Another stray bead. Okay. That's a merchant's place, but since it's frozen over, there is no merchant. Um, I'm just going to quickly backtrack and restock, because there is a merchant just down here. right here. Alright, nice. Alright. How are we actually doing? 91% of hairs. Nice. 68 and 71. I know of at least a bear and a sheep uh, that need to get fed. Alright. Yeah, that bear is here.
All right. Yeah, that's not a tree I can bring back. Yet it, it mentioned, like explicitly, if you keep doing it, it'll get stronger, or something. So it makes me want to go around and just headbutt everything. Um, in a specific effort to try to... Um, upgrade it, because that might end up being how we break the harder rocks. The only question is how many do you have to do? Great. So I have a whole bunch to do here in this village. some more bears. I did see the person pounding on that door, just to be clear. I am just holding off on meeting them for a hot second here. And that's why I did that. Alright, some pottery. Okay, let's see what this is about, then. Halt, whoever goes there! This is the house of the village elder. If you need something for the elder, you must go through me. I am Samikko, top warrior of the Oniwa tribe. Oniwa warrior Shampul. Sheesh, who does this guy think he is? Well, at least we finally met someone from the village. So, what are you doing around here in the middle of this blizzard? Hmm? That greeting voice! Is that you, Izzin? What in the world are you doing with that strange white wool? That's none of your business, pal. Anyway, what's with this village? It's a total mess. So true demons have taken over? Izafuji? Yo, you must have been gone for some time if you don't know that. Save your questions for when you get back to your own village. That is, of course, if it hasn't already been buried by the snow. Oh, and take that suspicious wolf with you, too. Why, you little... We're done talking to you. Let's into the chief's house now. No, you may not pass. We normally don't even let strangers into the village. I told the villagers not to let them into their houses. They will obey me, for I am Sheik Shemekel, chief of the Weep Kier. Now be on your way. Oh, 
Hold on a sec. You? Chief? What happened to old man Camu? He didn't buy the farm, did he? Fool! Of course he's still alive. But he's been greatly weakened battling the demons. Now their hideous monsters are trying to finish him off. Since... One... Uh, since only the Elder's volcanic inclination can fool their plans, that is why I became chief of the village. I must protect the Elder from the monsters lurking in every corner. Now be on your way. I want us to make you? I sense extraordinary power in this white wolf. But if you do not heed my warning, I will devour you where you stand. Now be on your way. Yes, stubborn as a wolf, I see. Come on, Ami. We had it. I've had it with this village. Okay. 